what's up glam fam welcome back to the channel how's everybody doing today first things first i know it's been a while since i've been posting but trust me life has been crazy i went through a breakup school started i got a new dragon like things have been super super hectic but we're getting back into the feel we're getting back into the routine so i'm going to be doing a 31 days of halloween series and today is the first day we are doing our spider webs this is the first time I've done it since I haven't had my channel for a full year yet. Uh, I don't know how it's going to come out. I'm going to try to do a video like every day and try to post it every like the next day. So I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to try because like I said, life has been crazy. Some days I don't really want to do makeup because I'm still kind of go over, going over this breakup. But whatever, we're going to keep going. So like I said, this is the first day. This is our spider webs. Um, my line work kind of came out weird. Cause it's the first time I've done it I'm not you know I'm not the best and I don't know how my boss is gonna react when I go to work like this but I've already done it so there's nothing I can do about it uh, I'll let you guys know how I went tomorrow but yes this is our look it's our orange with a little bit of red don't need don't know if I need the red but it's too late I've already done it so you live and you learn um like I said this is our spider webs it's primarily orange with a little bit of red a um, little bit of glow. Uh, I kind of don't like the lip either. I feel like I should have just want the clear lip instead of like a natural brown. But whatever. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel because this is a live organic thing. This is not like something that's set in stone all the time. I'm always changing. I'm always learning. There's always things happening. There's always events going on. So yes, you guys need to subscribe. That way you'll get all the new content and join me on my journey, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started with this look. Starting out, we are going to jump into our Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, and we're gonna go for that super bright orange because it's Halloween, so everything needs to be orange. Yes, like I said, we're going to do bright orange, but we're not gonna put it on the entire lid. We're really just gonna do like the bottom slash middle. We really wanna make sure that the pigment is very, very rich. It's very, very intense because we need that orange to pop. That's pr predominantly the main color of this look. So go ahead, add that orange. Don't go too high because we're going to add another color there. We're going to add like a transitional shade. Jumping into our next palette, we're going for the Morphe Bronzed Bay palette. And we're going for that top middle brown called Hang 10. This will be our transitional shade. Now, this color is going to go like basically on top of the brow bone because we want that orange to fade in to that brown. I I've noticed that a lot of my looks... The color goes all the way up to my eyebrow, so I'm trying to change that. So here I'm adding like a skin tone, brown, just so the orange has something to fade into. So now that I have my orange really, really popping, I was trying to decide if I wanted to add glitter. So this is like a darker, a darker goldish orange type thing and I'm using a setting spray to just to get my eyelid a little bit wet so the glitter has something to stick on to because I didn't want to use the base booster because I'm not putting a lot I kind of wanted the glitter to be scattered now we're going to start our line work for the spider webs but first we have to do the eyeliner now I normally don't show my eyeliner because it's boring but you guys have to see because it it's part of the process so like I normally do, you're going to start with a thin line, thicken out, and then thin up again as you go to the outside of your wing. And here I'm taking a standard black retractable um, black liner, and I'm just trying to outline where my main web lines would be, because I don't want to start out with eyeliner because I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just using this as a reference point, and then I'm going to go in with that liquid eyeliner again, and then I'm going to like permanently... Well, not permanently, but you know what I mean. I'm going to start to draw in that line. Now, it's really hard um, for a spider web. You kind of want to come in at a curved angle, but I'm going across my body, so the angle isn't the best. And 
again this is the first time i've done it so like it was kind of hard but yeah so i basically started with um, my wing line and then i added two extra one that's like i guess from the middle of my eyeball and then in between that and then my outline for my wing and then i basically connected those lines with a bottom curved line just to make it look more realistic and i have three bottom curved lines in between my main spider web lines if that makes sense i don't know if i'm explaining it efficiently you'll see it So I finished my first, I guess, spider web wing and I was pretty comfortable with it. So I basically sped through the second one. And again, the process is start out with your regular eyeliner wing. Then you're going to add two more additional, I guess, wings at an angle that are higher than your original one. And then you're going to um, connect them with downward curved lines that's basically what a spider web is and um i use again i use a eyeliner pencil to outline my lines before i went in with the liquid eyeliner to like you know finalize those lines Like this look could have used more glitter so i'm going in with setting spray again just for like the top part or the inside corner of the eye and i'm adding more of that loose glitter just to make it pop a little bit more i'm not really going over the actual wing just on the inside so this is what my look looks like so far i'm pretty satisfied with the wings so i'm going to go ahead and finish my face add my brows and i'll be back so this is what it looks like my face is done uh, i'm feeling myself obviously my wings are done. I like how the wings came out. It looks really good with lashes. Better than what I expected because up close I thought it was trash. But So now we're going to go ahead and finish the look. This is our standard black pencil liner and we're going to do our waterline just to make it you know, a little bit more dramatic of a look. And then we're going to jump into the Festivals palette by Juvia's Place and we're going to go for that deep red. And this time we're going to add that red to the under lash line just to add a little bit more color. I felt like it needed something. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go orange or if I wanted to change it up and go red. I ended up going with red, but I don't, eh, I don't feel like I needed it. After looking at how much time I had until I had to go to work, I decided to go ahead and do a spider web on the bottom half as well. So basically, again, I just went in with my pencil liner to outline my lines before I went in with the liquid liner to finalize those lines. And again, I added three, one outside the corner, one kind of underneath like the middle of my, eye, my iris, and then one line in between both of those. I don't really know how to explain the spacing other than that because I don't know, the spacing was kind of intuitive, but basically, when I connected those lines, I just this time I used upward curving angles. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I used upward curving lines at an angle to make the spider web look like it wrapped around my face. satisfied with how the webs came out so now i'm gonna move on and we're gonna add our highlight this is the kiss professionals shimmer palette and like always i'm adding the highlight to my nose my inner tear ducts because i really want that to pop and then i'm also adding it to my top 
brow bone. I also went ahead and added more loose glitter, I guess, to like where my upper cheekbones would be because I can't really put on glow because the web is there. So I just put loose glitter instead. So now we're going to move on to our lips. This is the Hot Cocoa Lip Liner by Nobby. And I'm just outlining my lips the way I normally would. And then I'm going to go over that with a clear gloss and try to blend it a little bit just so it has like that natural lip line and then we're gonna go over that with some more clear gloss just to really make it pop So here I decided to add some final touches to the look. I actually added a little bit of glitter to my bottom lip. Um, the same glitter that I had on my cheekbones. And then I went in with that shimmer palette and I kind of just outlined the top part of my lip. So this is the final look. This is my first day of 31 days of Halloween. My spider webbed wing. I absolutely love it. I think it came out freaking great. I'm definitely going to do this again with another look. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments. And, you know, give me some suggestions on what you might want to see. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.